What's up, fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be my June whoops and womps. Now I have quite a few. Uh, I've got a few. I have quite a few. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna get the case of the giggles right now. So I have a few womps. I'm very surprised because I feel like a lot of this stuff I end up liking or I make things work where it's not even like a womp anymore. But I definitely have a bunch of different products that I wanna show you today. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, become a part of the Pineapple Tribe. I upload as much as I can now. Um, I just finished doing this tutorial on this eye look. I used the new Wet n Wild Pac-Man whole collection. That is gonna be the next video coming up. You guys just have to watch it. And my vlog channel is What Will Lizzie Vlog. So now let's get into my June whoops or womps. I didn't want to go whoop because it's like whoops or womps. Whoop. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I have never been able to find the perfect low sock. And during summertime, I've been wearing like a ton of dresses. And then sometimes I'll wear sandals, but some days it gets like a little bit more chilly or it's just like I don't feel like wearing sandals. And I just want to wear it like with sneakers, like my chucks or either like my vans. And it's been so hard for me to find like low socks that don't like slip down or they just feel like too thin or uncomfortable. And I finally have the perfect pair of socks. So not gonna lie, Ped sent this to me and I was like, why? <laughs> why are they sending me socks? Like how did, like, I don't know, it's just so random. But, oh my gosh, Peds, I appreciate you so much. I just, I've never gotten socks in the mail, that's why. These are the uh, Mid Sport Liner, oh my gosh. So, I've been using the more like nude shade or whatever, they're like dirty already because I wore them the other day, but they feel so good. I wore them to Disneyland, and when you're at Disneyland, like, you gotta wear like legit walking shoes and good socks and all that. I was there for like, maybe like five hours, my feet did not even hurt after like constant walking and standing because the cushion on this is so good. So this one's the Mid Sport Liner. This one is the white, gray, and black pair. They do have a nude and I've been obsessed with these. I do have a size 10 foot for eight to 12 shoe size extended. So maybe that's why they fit really well because I feel like most socks, like low socks, it's like um, five to 10 and I'm like size 10. So I'm right there. So it's almost like, Hey, we're going to work for you, but there's a borderline. <laughs> These feel so good and they're so cozy, like full on. I'm obsessed. And then they also have this one. This one is the ultra low liner. So there's a mid and a low. I don't know which one I've been wearing. I feel like I've been wearing the low because they literally don't show at all. So I know I'm wearing the low in this pair right here. And then this one says no slip heel all day cool max. And that's like key because I feel like when you wear low socks and you wear like shoes and like you're walking all day, your feet can get kind of like funky. Like they start sweating, especially with like thin socks. And I find like no matter how clean you are, your feet just stink. Like after a whole day of like stomping the yard and like walking and stuff like that. So I absolutely love, oh, so see, so they have an extreme low, an ultra low, and a mid sport. It's right there. So I, I'm pretty sure I've been using the low and I have used the mid. And I thought, okay, I, it's a good brand. Like people use it. This probably isn't gonna slip. So I got Calvin Klein low slip socks. Complete crap. Like there's like a little rubber thing in the back and it just slips right away. And like my heel, like the sock is all the way up to like my front toes. And then my toes are like this cause there's like a sock in the front. I'm just walking like, this is so uncomfortable. So it really <laughs> You guys, I got like the case of the giggles, but I don't know, today's just like a fabulous day. <laughs> Every day is a fabulous day, but these socks are so good. So thank you so much, Peds. And I want to apologize because when I got them, I was like, socks. <laughs> but I am obsessed. Okay, next up, what I've been loving is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. Now, I've been using this already like back in the day, like a lot, like years ago, probably like when I was in junior high that long ago. And then I used it in high school. And then I just kind of stopped. I don't know what it was. I discovered this brand so long ago because your girl suffers from eczema. And right now, this one's pretty mild. I have some in the back of my neck. I have some in my legs. Oh, eczema just sucks, like especially like it loves to flare up during summertime when you wanna wear dresses and be like the most Nike, but whatever. Um, this is really good just because it's really nice and sensitive because I'll start to get like eczema on my eyes sometimes. I also like their lotions because it's really soft and it's not scented and it's great for like sensitive skin, but this has been like key because I feel like I have to be super careful with my facial washes just because especially when I do get eczema like on my eyelids, I'm like, okay, 
Let's not flare it up anymore. Nothing scented, no perfumed, anything like super, super natural. And that stuff is really good. I'm gonna show some womps in between just to kind of like spice it up, I guess, because I'm just grabbing it randomly in my bag. You guys, I got the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. I usually get, and I'm not like bad and bougie or whatever. I have to get Neutrogena, but I have just always used Neutrogena. Like that's what I use and it's always worked. Some people have a love hate. They're like, oh, it takes off makeup, but it burns my eyes. People either love it or hate it. I love that wipe. Like it works so good on me. Doesn't burn my eyes, no nothing. And I hear so many people say, oh, I just get Kirkland because they're completely comparable. So I got them because they weren't at the Costco that I went to. We went to a new one and they don't have like a lot of this, like, you know how they're just kind of different. They didn't have the Neutrogena. And these Kirkland ones burn my eyes like crazy, like crazy. And I feel, I don't know if this is what flared up my eczema on my eyelids, but I haven't had eczema on my eyelids in a long time. And I just started using this and I feel like this is the newest thing I've incorporated into my skincare because I just ran on my last wipe and these sting. And I'm just like, wow, I got a whole box of Costco. So I'm just gonna use it to like wipe off swatches and stuff like that. And then when I got them, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Like so many people love it, it's like comparable. It's just like, you're just paying for the name, no. This burns, <laughs> burns. Ooh, two Neutrogena products I've been obsessed with. You guys know I love the new Hydro Boost sunscreen with 50. Oh my gosh, it's so nice and lightweight. It's perfect underneath makeup. It's perfect for the sun. It's perfect for the pool, the beach, everyday wear. It is my new favorite. It is a new product. And I'm obsessed with the Hydro Boost line that bird though. I'm obsessed with the Hydro Boost line, period. This is what it looks like and when you blend it in, like look how fast it blends in. Look at that, it's the smell. I love the smell, like I'm obsessed with clean scents. If you guys can smell this, it's fantabulous. Like it's so clean, it's so thin, it doesn't feel greasy. It is so bomb, you guys. Like you guys need to get on the Hydro Boost line. Um, I don't even wanna use anything else because this one is a water gel lotion and I love that, especially during summertime, something nice and light and not goopy and that stings in your eyes and you look kinda crazy. So this is amazing before makeup, um, on its own, like it is a bomb. Like my new favorite product, like, like holy grail already. Also, their lotion comes, comes in clutch for me because I am one where I've said it before on my, I was gonna say I said it before on my program. <laughs> I've said it before on my freaking channel. I don't like the like feeling of, say for instance, the Bum Bum Cream. At first I liked it, but then after I'm like, ooh, it's kind of like too thick and luxurious for me. Glenn loves it though. And like even just regular lotions, like Bath and Body lotions or just regular straight lotions, or say for instance, like body butters, ugh, like I like them because they make my skin look good and they hydrate it because my skin, skin definitely needs it, but it's just the feeling, it just is not my favorite. So that's why I love the Hydro Boost. I was using, what was it? Was it Eucerin or no, what was it? It was a spray, I'll try to remember it, I'll put it right here. I loved that, but the thing with that is that it ran out really quick and it was pretty pricey, I think I paid like, nine or or nine to twelve dollars like in that range i'm just gonna give that range but it's way too expensive for how fast it just like was gone i was like no i can't be spending that on just spraying my body like that's just too much and then it would leave like a residue on the floor if you don't have a carpet you can slip and like literally hurt yourself because there was a time where i was like I'm okay. <laughs> so I stopped using it even though I loved it. It's really good. Then I started putting it on when I was like on the bed because we didn't have like a huge carpet. I'm like, dude, I'm like spraying this all over our comforter. What is wrong with me? So I'm back to the Hydro Boost. It's one of my favorites. Again, a super lightweight moisturizer. It's a gel. And then I'm just gonna show you how it's, voila, right there. Literally, <laughs> voila, <laughs> that's what my shirt says. <laughs> not planned people my friend said she doesn't like it and she said it just didn't do good for her this one says normal to dry skin to be quite honest i would probably just say like normal skin because it hydrates but it's not super like luxurious so if you're one where you just want to be like straight moisturized like in all your layers of the skin you might not like this, but I like it just because it's nice and light and I do need some moisture. So, I mean, there's hyaluronic acid in there, so it works for me. So I just recently put a whole Get Ready With Me trying a bunch of hot new drugstore makeup. I'll link that down below. 
I tried out the new, I don't know, is this super new? Is the Milani Conceal and Perfect? I don't know if it's super new. Uh, I couldn't even tell you because I feel like I'm not one of those people that like keep up with Milani, but now Milani is starting to like catch my attention. Like, Lizzie, Milani. Lightweight, this isn't my shade obviously. I got these at Walmart and they didn't have my like medium shade that I usually have. So the shades I've been mixing are Natural Sand and Light Beige. I've been using Light Beige to also carve out my brows, so it's kind of been like a twofer as well. But when you place it on, if you guys watch that video, it's like full on pigment, super thin. It reminds me of like the Too Faced um, concealer. What is it, the Perfect and Conceal whatever? The one that everybody loves that's moisturizing like this, except I don't know, there's something about it where I feel like it might be a little bit better, at least better for my skin type. Like when you place it, it's like, bam, pigment. Like look at that, solid. I barely, look at even the tail end when I'm like trying to leave it, it's like full on pigment. This might be your shade, this is a light beige. I don't know the medium shade though, that's the only thing. And then this one is called a natural sand. This one's like more natural looking. Look at me, I'm like trying to swipe so quick because it's just like pigment. <laughs> it withheld like literally all day. It didn't crack weird. It didn't fade weird. It didn't give me like a roadmap later on within the day. Cause you know those concealers, they like play you. They look so bomb in the beginning and then you set them with your favorite powder. It could be your holy grail powder at that. And then all of a sudden like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. hits, like right before you're about to go out and go have dinner or something like that. And then you're like, wow, like my under eyes look like crap. So. I love this because it's so thin. It's like you don't need a lot of product and I love that because the more product you put, the more likely you're gonna cake, cake, cake. Next up is my new favorite foundation. I'm not gonna give like a whole review on it because I did a whole review on it. I did a three day wear test and it's the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, why do I, I keep wanting to say freaking Urban Decay. It's the Maybelline Urban Cover. I, it, it's just out of habit because it's like urban and you just wanna say Urban Decay. So Urban Cover Foundation. I love this just because there's an SPF of 50. It gives me like a super nice like full coverage with, I don't know, the product is so thin. You guys have to go watch that review. I tested it for three days. I don't think it's like the most long wearing where it's like, whoa, like this thing is like gonna hold up. But if you powder within the day and kind of do touch ups, then it's gonna hold. I think it's pretty good. Um, I have nothing else to say because I did a whole review. So why would I talk that much about it? Okay, next product. <laughs> Okay, awkward. Oh, we got another womp. So I just recently did a video. Well, now that it's a womp, you already know my whole thing, but I tested out the Lash Princess Waterproof. Go check that out. I did that video because I wanted to do, I'm trying to put out as much content as I can because certain products I just want to do individual videos on because so many people hype up the Lash Princess. So I was like, someone might be interested in the waterproof. I don't think you guys were though, but I'm just trying it out. And I'm, and I'm glad I did it, you know? I'm gonna still try out different things and it's my channel and I wanted to do it. But if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, you guys will see how what this does. It's just not my favorite though and I had such high hopes because Lash Princess is like the sh you know, like I love it. Like I try to whistle. I'm not the best whistler. It's just, it's not my fave. You guys just have to go watch that video because it's like, really? Oh, you guys loved when I wore this lipstick and in my one video, I talked about my paranormal stuff. Thank you guys for making me feel normal. I've kind of dipped into like researching certain things, but not a lot. I can go into another video with that, but I want to say thank you so much to everybody who just made me feel like normal or people who were just like, girl, like I see the same things. I feel the same things. I got a lot of DMs on that and I was like blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that video. So in that video, I was wearing this freaking fire ass color and it's the Bobbi Brown lip color. I'm like, what is this, what is this called? I'm like, uh, Lux Liquid Lip Velvet Matte. Now, Lux Liquid Lip Velvet Matte, because I know they have a Lux Liquid Lip Gloss. Don't, it's not the gloss, it's the Velvet Matte in a blood orange. Sickening, like you need this. Like it's summertime, you need to wear this, like for sure. It is my favorite. It's super duper pigmented, look at that. So someone asked, is this like Lady Danger? This is like way better than Lady Danger and I was like obsessed with Lady Danger that I have two backups in my makeup collection right now. Hashtag psycho. It's just so bright and it has, and it's it says blood orange, but it's like, it still has like that reddish kind of orangey feel, uh, but it's definitely like the most beautiful color. Like when you wear it, it's like, bam. It is 
not for the person who doesn't want any attention to their lips. Like you're gonna get attention to your lips for sure. I feel like I haven't really raved about like a lot of MAC collections in a while. I filmed the Aladdin video and I filmed and I showed all the swatches, I did a whole look. I did not like that video. That time was when there was a lot of like stressful stuff going on in the house and we were fixing a bunch of stuff. And you know, when your like rhythm is kind of like tossed off, like say for instance, you're at your job and there's just like someone just like pecking, like a woodpecker or I don't know, like a drop of water, like just hitting you over and over and over, you're not gonna be in the best mood. And I feel like I totally showed it in my video and it really sucked and I saw it and I was like, you know what, I am not gonna put this video up because I do not look happy. Like I didn't look like myself, like right now how I am. Like today is like the most fabulous day cause we just finished like a bunch of other stuff like painting my beauty room. So now I can like furnish that and make it into our own little spot for our fineable crew. I'm just excited. So I don't know, you know how sometimes you can't always be in that super happy mood. I mean, I, I'm usually pretty positive, but you know, some days you just have your off days and I was like, yeah, this video is not going up, but I gotta give props to this lipstick from their line. This one's called Princess Incognito. It's an amazing pinky nude. It is amazing. It's like a, I don't know, it's like the perfect muted pink where it's not too bright, it's not too dark. It's the most perfect pink ever. Like I want to get a back above it. That's exactly what it looks like because I'm using natural lighting. Love natural lighting, you guys. I totally get it. I'm going to try to use it in my beauty room as well. I feel really crappy. I just kind of like discarded that video because there were some products in there that like you guys probably wanted to see. The collection was nice. The highlighter is very stunning. I think the blush is really nice, but here's the packaging of the lipstick right here. It's really nice. And if you guys haven't seen the movie, it is so freaking good. And then my favorite perfume that I've been wearing like a lot, I told myself because the last one I got was the pineapple one from Moscato. I've been wearing that. But this one is just, will always be one of my favorites. This one is just the Marc Jacobs Daisy or the Oh So Fresh Daisy. I love this. It's just super light. I always get compliments on it. Or like if someone wears Daisy, there's like a lot of Daisy lovers. They're like, you're wearing Daisy. You're wearing Marc Jacobs. Like, People just know, and it's perfect for like summertime, even spring, all year round, to be honest, but right now during summertime, I'm loving the scent. Super nice and light and fresh, but still a little bit floral, but not too floral because I'm not the most floral lover, but this one is like my number one. It just goes well, it's a happy perfume, but I still feel like you can wear this during nighttime. And I like perfumes that are like twofers, they're like right in the middle. They're not musky, they're not too, too fresh where they smell like that should just be during the day. I feel like this reaches is like a happy medium where if you just wanted to invest in one good perfume, I think this is a good day and night one. I think it's a good one. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my June whoops or womps. I love you guys so much. I'll link everything down below. Again, next video will be the whole Wet n Wild collection with Pac-Man. This whole tutorial, I do swatches of the entire collection as well. Go check out my previous videos on the Lash Princess Waterproof and the Maybelline Urban Cover, not the Urban Decay. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me, trying to find something to believe